Welcome back, friends and neighbors. Now that the Biden-Harris administration is on its way, some in the media have turned their focus to serious questions like, what are they wearing? We're barely past the election, and the sartorial think pieces are already getting thunked. Like, Kamala Harris will change power dressing forever. From pearl necklaces to high-top sneakers, see Vice President-elect Harris's boss sense of style. And even the Wall Street Journal asks, is Kamala Harris's fashion sense her secret weapon? Could be. Could also be her skill and experience. I don't know. Check the Wall Street Journal. They normally don't write garbage. Here to dive deeper into our new obsession with the vice presidential fashion, please welcome one of my writers and fashion expert, Michael Cruz Kane. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Michael. Stephen, as you know, Kamala Harris brings a lot of firsts to the White House. She's a woman, she's black, she's South Asian, but most of all, and I hope people don't mind if I objectify, she's got the White House's first hot Jewish husband, Doug Emhoff. And when I say husband, I mean hubba hubba husband. His fashion choices are setting the internet on absolute fire. People dig Doug. I thought you were going to be talking about her, her fashions. Ugh, no. What am I going to talk about? Her, her glorious suits? The way she alights from a plane wearing Converse like a business casual angel? Yawn. Stephen, are we a little bored of every fashion segment being about women? It's 2020. It's time to objectify the men. I'll take two scoops of Doug and hold the sprinkles because I really want to taste the Doug. That's... Cool, I guess. So what's your take on his fashion? I mean, how much time do we have? Not much. First of all, take a look at this tasteful, muted blue suit. And this elegant, muted blue suit. And folks, make sure your dog's on a leash before I show you this one. Here's him rocking an absolutely scrumptious muted blue suit. Well, you know what? When we finally get back to the theater, maybe I should try a muted blue suit. Oh, Steven. <laughs> Steve. Stevie, my man. You could never pull this off. No? You don't have the physique. Okay. As a Jew myself, I know that body, and it's built by a strict regimen of pastrami and very slowly swimming laps at a community pool. <laughs> well, does Doug Emhoff have any other looks? Oh, yeah, he does. And parents, take your kids out of the room for this one. I call this look, oopsies, looks like Zaddy forgot his tie. <laughs> All buttoned up, he's the vice president's husband, but one button undone and he's Mr. Emhoff if you're nasty. Also, note the daring touch of a muted blue suit. Look, um, he seems like a nice fella, really supportive of his wife. But no. is there really this much enthusiasm for Doug Emhoff's fashion? Stephen, this is a historical first. The fashion world has been waiting for this for centuries. The Doug Bugs and the Emhoff heads are going nuts. Sure, we've had other vice presidential spouses. Uh, what fool could, for, could, could forget the dazzling Joan Mondale or the incandescent Letitia Stevenson? But now, for the first time, we have a man who is the person you won't hear about who is married to the person who is largely powerless in the White House. And Stephen, there's a word for that in my native language. What is that? English. <laughs> no, what's the word? It's progress, Stephen. It's progress. Michael Stephen? <laughs> you were that, saying? That was on me. That was on me. Michael Cruz Kane, everyone. We'll be right back with Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton.